Good afternoon. Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Bruce Swartz. I want to thank you all for being here and supporting this channel as you all have during the years. This is what the telescope looks like um, as for the size when I'm looking at the moon before doing any editing whatsoever. You can see the moon here. Um, the size will come into view in front of the camera and that is the size that I see the moon when I start filming. So this channel is in trouble, my friends. Um, there's not a lot of traffic. You guys get the point. I know that uh, you you that are here are not, um, you can't do anything more than what you're doing. But I want to keep it a free channel as it is a free channel. And for it to remain a free channel, for me to be able to do that, I really do need a lot of traffic. Uh, a lot uh, more, especially than a thousand views or two a day. Um, we're getting there. A couple days, you guys have been really pulling out. Thanks a lot. Chang E3. Let's go see where they landed. I posted this on the French channel yesterday, and I said my crew, my team here is going to be so upset if I don't bring it back here. Right in that circle, that's where it is said that they would have landed. And um, yeah, we'll talk more about that. Uh, when we see more on the surface, but obviously we can't see anything, especially not the size it was. This is Tycho Crater. We are seeing lines leaving Tycho Crater, and I want you guys to take note. Uh, you've asked me if there are any changes. Let me tell you, I'm seeing that in the photos of Tycho Crater, we do not see those lines. So I'm starting to take note on the um, observations of the things that I'm observing. What do you guys think of this? I posted this again on the French channel. That's why you see image, nombre de kilometres, 475 kilometers wide, the whole shot you're looking at right now. I know you guys like knowing the, um, the numbers, and so this is it. And 556 kilometers or 345 miles is the diameter of Mare Crisium, the Crisium Basin. So we're, we're close as heck, and this was actually with the D3400. Um, I want everyone to understand that sometimes the moon is excessively close to the earth and if you're along the Terminator line, it's overwhelming everything you can see as compared to any other time during the year. So sometimes, uh, look here, here's Mare Crisium right now, recently, like in the past couple of weeks, but it doesn't look like it's as close as I got with the D3400 camera. It was still a 14 inch scope, but why? It's because the moon is never placed the same. It can give us, and I mean it guys, we know there's a wobble. So we can get some exquisitely beautiful views of the surface. So. We're gonna see some close-up shots that maybe not everyone's gonna appreciate. I'm telling you, we're getting in very, very close to see the details um, inside of the atmosphere. And look at that spot up there on the north side uh, of the moon. You see, the moon's never the same. Uh, that Terminator line is always in a different area and it never seems to go back to the exact same area. And we just see so many, so many revealing things on the surface. It's just really cool to be able to uh, get a chance to view them, you know, to see what's up there. And it's never the same. That's why people say the moon changes so much each moon phase every time you go up.
For whatever the reason you'd like to send me something, here is my mailing address. Bye. Bye.